Hello everyone. I want to expand on the exponential trend lines in Excel video that was in your graphing activity lesson. I'm going to use that to create an equation in what we call Q form or an exponential function um, that we can type in and also create the Excel formula to go with that function um, and find our correct exponent that we will be raising things to. Um, and to find our growth factor um, as we're doing this. So this is the same data she has in hers. We have our days and our number of people who know our piece of gossip. Uh, the graph that she created over here um, with the equation and the regression value. So an exponential function is usually written in this form. Q equals our A value or our initial amount times 1 plus r, where r is your growth rate, raised to an exponent usually in terms of time. Um, not always in terms of time, but usually. Okay. Um, so that 1 plus r is the growth factor the R value is what we call the growth rate. Okay. So I'm going to need to find that. And I'm going to use my equation to help me find those values. So that's going to be using the exponent that is with the E. Because when we write this, notice in my equation there is no E. Okay. Um, I'm going to use, in this case, Excel to help me find my growth factor. You can use the E button on your calculator, that's fine. Um, so equals, and to do the E value, you do EXP, that's the function in Excel, and then we type in our number, 0 0.6655, okay? Do not type the X, okay, just the num numerical value that is part of that exponent. And so this number is actually our growth Factor. It's the 1 plus the R. When we do this, Excel goes ahead, goes ahead and gives us the growth factor. If I wanted to know the growth rate, I could set this equal to that, which means basically I'd have to subtract 1 from it. So my growth rate would actually be 0 0.94546, um, just so you have that information. Uh, we're not going to be using this when I do my formula. I'm just going to use this number and go ahead and have it added together. Okay, so if I was going to write my equation for this, then I would have, instead of Q, I'm finding people, so I'm going to use P equals for my people equals, and then our initial value from the equation that Excel created, 2.2259. Don't forget your multiplication symbol. You can't just put the parentheses. Excel has to have that multiplication symbol. And then I'm going to put in my growth factor, 1.94. Five, four, six, into my parentheses and raise that to D because D is my days or my time. You can use T. I don't care which variable you use. You can use X if you want. Um, I just do this so I know what is standing for. I know that when I get my answer, P will be my number of people and I'm plugging in days as my time. Okay, so that would be my equation that I would be writing on paper. Okay. So let's say on this, I wanted to know, you know, what happens on day 10 or what happens on day 15 or maybe day mm, 37. OK, um, I can create an Excel formula to help me or to actually calculate those values. And I'm just going to use the equals and on part. Um, to do that. So I would have equals 2.2259 times parentheses 1.94546 in my parentheses and I'm going to raise that but I'm not going to put in D. Okay, I need to use a cell reference because I'm going to use that value there. So I'm going to click on that cell and it'll automatically put it into my equation, that A8, and hit enter. And it'll tell me on day 10, about 1,700 people 
uh, will know my piece of gossip. Now, since we're talking about people here, I'm going to make this to have no decimal places. Um, I'm going to have it do a whole number, so zero. You can also do like the quick uh, increasing or decreasing a decimal. I just picked that one. Um, so then I can actually copy down my formula. And I can go ahead and copy it all the way down. Okay, so notice on day 15, 48,000, and then we get to a really big number. Let's see, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, or into the billions on day 37. Uh, notice, since I don't have a number here, when I did this last one, I got two because it reads this as zero. Now, let's say I wanted to know 100 people. Okay, I'm going to use Goal Seek to help me with that one. Okay, but you have to have the formula in there that is referencing that cell. So to do goal seek, you're going to need to go up here to data on your tab in Excel, go over to what if, and select goal seek. So that goal seek says we're going to set this cell, this B11 that I was in, to what value? Well, I want to know when it will be 100. And what cell are we going to change? Well, I want to change the one right next to it, that A11. So I can click on that. And once I have all that information in, I'm going to click OK. And it'll self-calculate. Okay. So, OK. So notice 5.7 days. So basically day 6 is when 100 people would know. Uh, so that is how you would use Goal Seek to help you find that. And that is how you write your equations, your exponential equations, from your chart. Hope this was helpful.